Green Energy own two biodiesel facilities, one at the port of Teesside and one here at the port of Immingham. Safety and security is critical to plant operation, therefore we make sure that people have the correct PPE, competency, training and knowledge. Both facilities import used cooking oil from ship and ISO container from all over the world. We also import locally throughout the UK. When the oil first arrives on site, a sample is taken from the shipment or road tanker to our on-site lab to make sure it complies with our strict purchasing specification. The process of manufacturing used cooking oil and converting into biodiesel can be split into four simple stages. The clean-up stage consists of a series of chemical dosing, heat exchangers and centrifugation where we clean up and filter the impurities for the next stage of the process. The centrifuge is a high-speed rotating piece of equipment that cleans, washes and filters the used cooking oil. From the deodorizer and refining process there are two distinct streams. One of them being refined oil, which is later converted into biodiesel, and the other one is free fatty acid, which again is reused further within the process for conversion. Within the deodorizer, the washed used cooking oil enters a series of trays. Within these trays there's a series of weirs and holes. Steam is sparged into this oil, breaking the surface and condensing the free fatty acid pulling it down into a central chimney where it is recovered for processing further on in the conversion. The transesterification process is where the refined oil is converted with methanol in the presence of a catalyst. Within the process, the glycerin and the biodiesel have different densities. By reactors and separation throughout the process, we can recover these two streams. The final product is dried centrifuged and sent to our storage tank. Because of the heat generated within the process, we use economizers, which are oil on oil heat exchange. It makes the plant more efficient, reduces our power consumption and reduces steam usage. In this final part of the process, we recover unused reagents, wash waters and other byproducts for further conversion or reuse. The methanol system recovers the unused methanol reagents through a vents header system, which is linked across all the process vessels, where the excess methanol is dehydrated and returned for reuse through the transesterification process. The water phase recovered from the methanol column is utilised as process water through the rest of the plant.